guys, it's Double Wide Six, and today what I'm doing is I'm putting some new front tires on this Husqvarna tractor. First thing we're going to do is remove the valve stem, and to do that, I'm just going to use my valve stem removal tool. So this thing actually threads on here like this, and then once you have it threaded on, um, you're going to use some leverage and you want to pull that valve stem out. It kind of uh, stretches it. Need a little bit of leverage here. Try and go this way. Hang on. Let's try it this way. There we go. And that will pop that right out and get the air out of the tire for you. So to do this job, I'm going to be using my Harbor Freight. It's a mini tire changer, number 61179. And we're just going to put the tire on here, some spacers. Okay guys, so the first thing I set up is the bead breaker. So we'll put this on here like this and you just push down on this handle just like that and you should be able to give it a good push and that'll break the top bead. Now we're going to flip it over and get the bottom bead right away. Okay guys, this is the second side bead. Uh, sorry about the light from the window, but I don't have a shade. I need to get a shade there. So this is all set. We're just going to push down. Both sides, the bead's broken. Now we can remove the tire. Okay, to remove the tire, what we're going to do is soap it up. So we just have some soapy water. More than enough soapy water is what you're going to want to do. And they give you this tool here. And basically what you do is you slip this thing underneath here. Like that. You can hook this edge right on the rim. And that will bring it up. And you want to be on this side of the post. And then all you have to do is kind of hold that tire and spin it. Just like that. So that comes off pretty easily. And then we're going to get the bottom edge the same way. We're going to actually reach down in here, get underneath, and now that I'm under here, I'm going to just spray some soap. Sorry, I keep walking in front of the camera. That'll, the soapy water just really helps the thing slide. And we're going to work this right around. not too bad okay so usually when I do uh, tires I replace the valve stems so we'll soak that up and push it through here and um, I'm going to use this installation tool to get that set for us So we thread that on. You don't want to forget your valve stem. And we're going to need a little leverage here to get that to pull through. There we 
go. You can see that that's seated on there real nice. Okay, so uh, I have the valve stem in there. I just put the cap on to protect it. We're going to put that side down so we don't have to deal with the valve stem. Now, in the directions for this thing, it shows you to put this aluminum piece down first. But I saw another video on YouTube that showed this thing up top. And that's the way I'm going to do it. So, we're going to start out here. We're going to do one spacer. This thing up top. And then we're going to screw this down. So the tires I'm putting on are these uh, Carlisle 15 6 by 6s and the smaller the tire is the harder it is to put them on. So we're going to soap up both sides just like that and I'll back you guys up show you how to put So we have one side on, here's the hard part. So what we want to do, I just removed the lock down. We're going to put on our bar, and then this thing goes like that. And we'll lock it down. Alright guys, I don't have much room to work, but I'm trying to put the camera up high so that you can see this. And I, I realize I'll probably be in the way of the camera a little bit. But here we go, we're going to soak this up. And what you want to do is try and get one edge underneath the rim and up under here. Because that will give you more room to get the other side. So we're going to take this edge and try and force it on a little bit. Work my tool in here. Alright, so that will go there and as we set this thing on uh, you can see I'm pushing this edge up under the rim. You're going to have to hold the tire in place and kind of work it on there. And it does take a little muscle, but that's basically how you do it. Got everything on there and it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with the results. One thing that you want to watch for is, you know, you want to make sure if your tires are directional that you have the valves out on the right side. So I have these two matching up nice. So just pay attention when you're doing it. Um, I'll put links in the description to how to actually set a tire on the bead. I didn't show it in this video, but I have done it in other videos. And I'll also put some links to the tools I used. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, please give it a thumb up and think about subscribing. Take care.